Hi guys, and welcome back to Love and Keto and Keto Cooking with Ron and I'm um, Ron. Well, today we're going to be making two different kinds of shaffle recipes. Today we're going to be making the Easy Peasy Shaffle recipe, which is two uh, slices of provolone cheese, the okra thin from Sargianto. And uh, then we're going to be trying uh, a half a cup of mozzarella cheese, but one egg, and, we'll and uh, go ahead and make the shaffles and uh, compare the two. And uh, today we're going to have some pastrami, and I thought maybe a better way to uh, have a pastrami sandwich on a couple of shaffles. So without further ado, let's switch the uh, camera around, and we got a brand new uh, mini dash that we're going to be using today for the first time, and we'll spray the uh, top and bottom with a little bit of cooking spray. So let's go right to this, and uh, you know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So we're going to let that heat up. To remember, this is going to be hot, so uh, you can use. I usually pick it up like that, and I'm okay with that, but um, we'll use a little paper towel because we don't want to burn ourselves. What, what will happen is that light will go off when it's ready to uh, uh, use the uh, dash. It calls for one egg and a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. We have one egg whisked. And now we're going to put a half a cup of mozzarella cheese in with the egg. And you could put, uh, you know, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, all that good stuff in here. Whatever your heart desires. Just be careful that could be hot. You don't want to burn yourself. And we're going to put a little bit of spray, avocado spray. Make sure it doesn't stick. And these will take about three or four minutes to uh, cook up. All you do is you just fill your mold a little bit. We should get a couple out of this. Just spread it out a little bit. Like I said, we'll put that on the cooling rack when we're done. And we'll do a comparison. If you pop it up too soon, you're gonna have one heck of a mess. So we're gonna use a little piece of paper towel. It's, it's cool enough to the touch there, but we're gonna use this to make sure. You know how nice and golden brown that is. We're gonna pop it out of there with a fork. So you just take that like this and just carefully pop it out like that. See? Now we'll make the, uh, the other one. You only need to spray it once. I just kind of like spread it out evenly a little bit. So you heard the light just go off. You, see, you can use a fork and just pull it up. Like that. Okay. So now on the uh, second time, this is the ultra thin cheese. It's by Sergiano, it's provolone. What I like about it, it's already cut round and it fits perfect on the mini dash. Just slap it on. A little bit of egg without overfilling your mold. And if you overfill your mold, that's why you put a paper plate down, right? And then you just put another piece of cheese on top. So your lid. That's pretty much it. We're going to make two eggs. difference. See how mine cooked with the two cheeses? Check that out. 
I'll show you the difference afterwards. One slice of cheese. And you can make these up ahead of time and freeze them. And then if you want them nice and crispy, you can uh, put them in the air fryer if you have an air fryer. Or put them in the uh, toaster oven. Or a toaster. Yeah, guys, huh? Okay, so we're gonna unplug our mini dash. And we got a damn piece of paper towel. Just put it on like that. And that'll clean that up. So I just wanted to show you the difference. Um, these are the ones made with the pepperoni cheese and this is with the mozzarella cheese. If you look at the mozzarella cheese, it's kind of like uh, very, very flexible. I mean, I've had them before, so I know it's going to be good. And like I said, I didn't put any garlic powder, onion powder, any of that junk. And this is the one with the uh, provolone cheese. It's nice and crunchy. And that's, you know, these are great for uh, sandwiches. You can put an egg sandwich on here with a sausage. Uh, great for hamburgers, hot dogs. Uh, so uh, we're going to assemble our sandwich and talk about it in the back room afterwards and we tell you we're going to have pastrami and uh so uh anyways hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe these are two different kinds of recipes just to recap these two was made with one egg and a cup half a cup of mozzarella cheese whisked it all together and they came out uh like this nice and golden brown on both sides and then on the next one we did a couple of eggs we probably could have gotten an extra shaffle out of the other one but that's okay and we took four slices of provolone cheese, uh, ultra thin from Sargiano. That was the first one. And uh, this is how the second one came out. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and uh, get the pastrami going and talk about it in the back room. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You know the drill. Right, easy peasy. Hi guys, and welcome back to the back channel. Keto cooker with Ron and love it keto. Ron's weight loss journey, and I'm Ron. If you're new, could you please share, like, and subscribe to the channel? Helps other people know when they post videos. 
So today we made two different shackle recipes. Um, we made one with the easy peasy shackle recipe, which required one, we actually did two eggs and uh, four slices of ultra thin Sargento cheese. And they also make a number of them. Uh, the ultra thin works really well. Uh, the, the texture on the bread or shackle, nice and dark, golden brown, and uh, nice and crunchy. And then uh, we did another recipe with the uh, mozzarella cheese. We took a half a cup of mozzarella cheese and one egg, whisked it, and uh, mixed the uh, cheese with the, the uh, egg. And get, again, we didn't put no salt and pepper or anything like that on there. You could put garlic powder on your powder and all that junk. But today we just made it plain and simple. Now, sometimes I like to have cheese on my uh, sandwiches, and other times I just eat it the way it is. But today we have, uh, well, I'll show you what we have. Now, it looks like a lot that I got on the uh, sandwiches, but the uh, it's a small sandwich. So, I may have a pastrami today. Uh, yeah. Very good. Um, so, pastrami is really good to have on a ketogenic lifestyle. It's very keto-friendly. It's basically bacon that's cured. And I like the fattier kind of uh, pastrami. And the last time I got pastrami, it was the uh, lean kind, and I totally... Uh, it's gross and uh, the fatty kind works for me maybe to have a coke but uh, yeah it's going good I uh, got a lot to talk about this week I just posted another video um, you know who died and left you boss of my food or who died and left made you the police officer of my food and uh, you know it's going really well on YouTube I have a few comments on it already and uh, but don't don't ever have an issue with anybody what they eat because you know you're not the yeah bossy your food only you are. I've been wanting to get that video up for a little while and uh, you know and uh, I'm glad I did and I got it off my chest. But uh, yeah, so let's show you what the uh, sandwiches look like. I flip the camera around. Can't really uh, see, but underneath here I get mustard and uh, these are the two. This is the one. This is the sandwich with the. Uh, Sargiano cheese, you can see the difference. And this one, this one uh, feels nice and crunchy. And this one here is more of a soft texture. Now according to some YouTubers, you can take this and uh, you, can, you can freeze these, they freeze really well. And if you want to get them nice and crunchy, they, they stay in your refrigerator for about two or three weeks, in your freezer, and then you can pop them into your air fryer or into, the, or, or into an oven or a toaster to get them nice and crunchy again. So you don't even taste the egg. T there's no egg taste at all, which is really amazing to me because you know you are you, the base of it is egg and cheese. Uh, again, there's no condiments in here like salt, pepper, and everything like that. Because you know, I felt the uh, pastrami salty enough as it is. Really, really good. Gonna finish enjoying my meal. That one, yeah, I'll probably wind up wrapping up and. Uh, The leftover strawberry we have in the, in the back, and put that in a bowl and have it for another meal later on in the week. Or maybe a late night snack. We just punch on the uh, pastrami like this. Mm. I was thinking maybe a nice uh, dill pickle with this or a nice kosher pickle with this. would taste really, really good. But this is great for a uh, low carb meal. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. And, um, and you like pastrami, you know, and what's your favorite, uh, you know, if I wasn't doing low-carb weight loss, I probably would have had this on rye bread or pumpernickel bread or something like that. But uh, the, the Pepperidge Farm Company puts out some awesome breads. But um, I'm trying to lay off that stuff because of the carbs right now, and it's very important for me going forward to 2022 to 2023 next year. I want to get all this weight off of me, finally get out of Wonderland. Look at that, guys, huh? Uh, anyways, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.